I get quite a few questions about the equipment I use to photograph and video. So I thought I'd go over it in just a little piece here for you. Now, first of all, I want to tell you my video equipment is no great shakes. Um, I didn't know much about video when I started this a couple of years ago, and to be honest with you, I don't know a whole lot more now. Uh, I run into professional videographers who are always telling me I need to upgrade my equipment, and I suppose they're right and I'm probably going to have to do it, but to be honest with you, I don't make much money off of videos, and writing in videos is how I make my living. So I try to keep costs under control, but this year I might upgrade, and any of you that have suggestions, I'm happy to take them as PMs. But let me run through what I'm using right now, and you, know, you can tell me uh, what you think of it. My main workhorse camera is a Canon Vixia HFR20. Uh, this shoots in 180 uh, H HD, and it's not very expensive, maybe about $300, but uh, this is a camera I use for all of my, my main reference shots uh, and anything where I'm just using one camera. Right now, I'm actually on my second Vixia HFR20. The one in front, the gray one, was my first one, uh, but unfortunately, I got caught in an unexpected cloudburst while I was out filming, and it shorted it out. I had it rebuilt, but it's never been reliable uh, even after the rebuild. So now I mostly just use the black one, and every now and then I'll use the gray one as a backup and hope it works. This is my second camera. It's another Canon Vixia. This is an HFR10, and this was actually the first camera that I bought. Uh, and I used this for quite a while as my only camera until I realized I, I really needed two to make the videos more interesting. So this camera gets used for close-ups of targets while they're being shot. And it's also the camera that I use to video my signature bad guy view scenes. <laughs> So this camera operates in a pretty dangerous environment. I get asked all the time, but no, I have never shot this camera. Uh, but as you can see, it's taken its share of abuse, and most of that is from bullet fragments splattering off of the steel targets I do shoot at. Now I have shot probably five tripods out from under this thing. So my cameras operate in a dangerous environment. I'm outside in the elements. The weather doesn't always cooperate and there are bullets flying around. And, and that has made me leery about upgrading to some of these $3,000 cameras that I get recommended to me by professional photographers. I, I have to say, now that I'm doing more work for commercial websites besides my own YouTube channel, I am giving some serious thought to it. So once again, I'm open to suggestions. My third camera, and my newest edition, is this Midland Radio XTC 300. This is an action cam, and, and I typically use it for point of view shots. And I think it's really added another dimension to the videos that I'm doing. So I'm really enjoying this. I usually wear the XTC 300 mounted on this head strap that you see here, which I think is a really good view. But it comes with all kinds of attaching hardware, so you can mount it on the handlebars of bikes or stick a tie helmet or put it most anywhere, the brim of your hat. Uh, it's pretty handy and it does give a unique perspective. So let me give you an idea of how these three cameras work together in a typical scene. I do use one other camera to shoot video, uh, typically when I'm on the go and I just can't haul around a lot of equipment. I'll use this Canon PowerShot. It's an ELPH 110 HS and it's a 16.1 megapixel still camera and it shoots 1080 uh, HD video and it does very well. So 
this is something I'm using when I can't be carrying all kinds of cameras, microphones, and bags, like when I'm at the SHOT Show, uh, or if I'm at a remote location doing other things besides videoing. In addition to the cameras, of course, is sound equipment. And I generally use the microphones and the cameras, which I get criticized for a lot, but I do have a reason for that. But I do use two external microphones, and I use them a lot more than a lot of people think. Uh, I use this Audio-Technica Pro 24CM shotgun mic. Uh, and I'll use this in specific circles. Most often I use the shotgun mic when it's windy, and I use it with a dead cat cover like this uh, to cut down on the wind noise. A lot of people tell me I should use it to cut down on the background shooting noises because uh, the range has other people using it. And I'm here to tell you I have tried that and it does zero for cutting down that noise. Um, but it, it does pose some other problems, as does the other mic I use. The other external mic I use is a lapel mic. This is a Radio Shack 33-3013 lapel microphone. And I'll use this... Uh, most often when I'm shooting in my shop, though sometimes I'll use it on outdoor shots too. This does a little bit better at cutting out the background noise. And the reason I use it in the shop is because my shop is in the basement of my house and quite often my furnace or my air conditioner will kick on while I'm videoing something. And this does a real good job of cutting those noises out. Um, but this and the shotgun mic have some issues though I don't notice it on my computer. A lot of people tell me when they're playing back the YouTubes, the videos on YouTube, when I'm using these mics, they can't hear anything. And I guess it's because these mics don't have stereo, and on some equipment, that must cut it out entirely. Now, I listen to my YouTube videos uh, over the Internet on two Macs, a laptop and, and an iMac, and I hear every word. It doesn't cut anything out, but I've gotten enough feedback that I know that's a problem for some people. So I'm probably going to have to upgrade my, my uh, sound equipment at some point. And I would probably do that when I go to a more professional camera. But once again, I'm open to suggestions because I don't know a lot about this stuff. And I'm open to suggestions on good books to read or good articles to read that would help me out. The last piece of gear I use for making videos may seem a little bit unusual. It's a still camera. It's a digital SLR, a Canon EOS D50, uh, which I use with a variety of lenses, but my workhorse lens is an EF 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens. Uh, this is a low dispersion glass lens, known as an L lens in Canon terminology. Uh, it's extremely high quality. Now, I use this camera for my magazine work. And I use a lot of the stills I shoot for magazine articles in my videos. But one of the reasons that I got into doing YouTube videos was so I could do pieces on guns that are simply not commercial enough to be picked up by any magazine for an article. Uh, but I figure I like them, and there's probably other people out there who like them. And that gave me an opportunity to do pieces on them. But I was really unhappy with the quality of the tabletop work I've seen in most YouTube videos. And I decided it would be better to shoot high quality stills and use my studio lighting uh, and use those stills for tabletop by narrating over them, which of course is exactly what I'm doing right now and have been in a lot of this video. So I hope that works for you as a viewer. Um, it's, it's something that I prefer to see myself. So that really wraps up all of my gear. And um, as I've said, I'm really open to suggestions because this is something that's pretty new to me. I've been doing still photography for probably 30 years on a professional level, but I really don't know much about video. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye.